afternoon. I think it's about two o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock in England, half yeah. two here. Afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all right. Afternoon from Salou. I know it's a popular tourist destination um, in Costa Dorada, but you really wouldn't think it. We have been to some quiet places on this trip, but nowhere as quiet as Salou. And it's kind of sad to see all the bars shut up, the shops shut up, and the reality of what this has done to Spanish tourism which I can only imagine has come from mainly majority of the countries imposing a quarantine on Spain um, and advising against travel. But the reality is that it is not a good situation at the moment. Afternoon, Linda. I honestly didn't expect it to be as quiet as this. I thought it was gonna be quiet, but I really didn't think it was gonna be like this. Like bars with nobody in, one or two people on each table, and that's the ones that are open. Maybe when we get to the beach it might be a bit different. Oh, I'm glad you love it in Salou, Tracy. It's been years since I came to Salou, but I can only imagine that this street is usually bustling, especially in, uh, in August, the height of tourism. Been a while. We were on the other day, Sam, um, Saturday night, so only Sunday we weren't on. Afternoon, Anne. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit difficult getting used to uh, having the mask on at all times again. Uh, it's not the, uh, the nicest of experiences. I can understand why um, people don't want to come to Spain at the moment. Um, not just obviously with the quarantine and the FCO advising against travel, but also with the rules and regulations that are in Spain compared to pretty much every other European country, I guess it kind of makes it a, I'm in no illusion that it kind of makes it a, a last resort place to come, I guess. I mean, I know that there's a quarantine imposed against France and things now, but at least in France, in the boiling hot weather, you could still take your mask down when you're going along the street. But there is nobody here. <laughs> that dress is nice. I've never seen it this quiet. It just makes you wonder what it's going to be like in Benidorm. Afternoon, Lyndon. Afternoon, Tracy. It is so quiet. It is quite heartbreaking to look at it because it all you can think of is, obviously it is so heartbreaking for the people that have been affected by COVID and people that, you know, have had somebody affected by it personally. But it also makes you wonder of all the people, the, the local people who, earn an honest living by having a bar or having a shop that just won't be able to withstand you know this this blow to tourism and I understand completely people wanting to uh, build up the UK economy too that I mean I, I pass I, I completely get it but it is just kind of sad worldwide but if anywhere has been hit from what we've seen no um, and the locals have told us, you know, it's not normally like this. It's normally a bit busier, or, but nothing to the extent of this. But this is the reality in Spain right now. It's quite sad to see. And I think for us, from being away from it for so long, for not being in Spain and not kind of seeing the impact quarantine has had, um, because obviously we were out before that even came about, we haven't seen how that affected it. But this has kind of brought it all back to home of what the reality is going to be like when we get home and how actually Salou has been affected. I remember it from when I was young of being like a bustling place, a nice holiday place and kids playing and you know, Porta Ventura and things like that. And as we drove by, nobody was at Porta Ventura. There's, I mean, you can see here, there's, I mean, the beach looks a bit busier, but you... How many of those are uh, locals? Makes you wonder. It's such a shame, I think. That's one place I'd like to go. I've never been there. Oh, it's 
it's um, close to Tarragona and close to Barcelona. I know a lot of people take a trip into Barcelona for the day from Salou as well, which is quite cool. I really hope they are. I really hope that the numbers start improving in, in Spain soon. They do say that most of it comes from family gatherings um, and mainly house parties and things like that. So I just hope for the sake of the tourism and hope for the sake of economy and the safe, safety of people that these people who are throwing parties and not socially distanced when they have friends around start to actually look at the bigger picture. Oh my god, you're in Salou. It's so sad and quiet. Enjoy it though. It's a lovely place. We're hoping that we can find something to eat while we're here and kind of uh, <laughs> have a sit and look at the beach. It's been a while since we've seen the beach. <laughs> Afternoon, so sad to see it like that, isn't it just? Here's the local police. Are you going to visit Tarragona? Uh, not this time. Um, we've been to Tarragona before, um, but no, we've, we've, uh, I think we've already gone past it, haven't we? We've already driven past yeah, it. we've already driven past Tarragona, so not this time. Such a shame, it's because we're not allowed with having to quarantine, not being covered by insurance. Exactly, and um, a lot of countries are now face the same. Um, even if it's not Spain as a country as a whole, there are a lot of countries that have. Um... No, gracias. Um, there's a lot of countries that have also imposed it into this region rather than, um, like, for example, the Canaries and the Balearics. They're still allowed, and for some countries, they are still allowed to go to, for example, Alicante um, or the south of Spain. But there are a lot of European countries that have said no altogether to the north. After being to Salou and it was always busy, it's such a shame. I honestly can't believe how quiet it was. I didn't expect it to be this quiet. I mean, I expect it to be quieter. I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest, but this wasn't it. Ghost time. I've been to Salou many times and it's usually so rammed. It's such a sad situation for Spain. It really is, and I think... I mean, feel free to share this video with anybody who's in Salou, like who comes on holiday to Salou, sorry, or, you know, anyone who's thinking about maybe coming or whatever. Um, yeah, you're free to share it if you'd like to. Are you going back to Benidorm? We are. We'll be back today. My favourite place as well. I'd like to have a look at the beach. The beach is a happier picture. Um, I don't know how many of these are uh, holiday makers, but I must say that most of the cars are all Spanish cars. But that's much nicer to look at, I think. That's a much more positive, positive view. But from, from what I've seen on pictures and things like that, usually this promenade is rammed along with the beach. And there's usually a lot more people on the beach than there are now. Thanks for the stars, Vicky. Let's head that way. Never been here, but it looks nice. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't remember it much. I was about six or seven when we came. I do remember having a good time. Really hope they lift the quarantine when the kids go back to school. So sad for us and business. I really hope so too. I really hope that the numbers get better and I just don't know, I just really would like it to in an ideal world for there to be no COVID. <laughs> good to see you back from the Western Supermare. Oh, hi Sandra. There'll be many places having hardships, such a shame for them. There will be, and there'll be places in the UK that have got hardships. Um, when we were in um, Montreux, <coughs> when they said where we were from, she said, um, she welled up and said, oh my God, honestly, you're the first people we've seen um, for so long that are not from Switzerland. Just like, yeah, this is like, oh my God, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. And it, you know, there's, there's places everywhere that's been, or going to be hit, or have been hit, and it is, you know, it's everywhere. Just moved September flight to November, last throw of the dice. Fingers crossed for you, Gary. It is really sad to see. Glad you're back home and safe. Looks warm here in Oldham, but a bit cold. Know what you mean, we're in lockdown. Oh no! Sorry to hear that, Doreen. When are you back in Benidorm, Lauren? Uh, we're back today. Thanks for the stars, Brenda. Is Alex going to be on strike when the schools start again? No, why would Alex be on strike? <laughs> no, when the schools go back, Alex goes back. Unbelievable and so sad, but looks lovely. I mean, it 
is really pretty, but it is sad to see. I do think the beach looks a nicer picture. It looks a happier image of Salou. Thanks for star, Janine. Oh my God, how quiet. Whenever we go to Salou, it's really busy. I feel sorry for the shops and the bars, but understand people not going away with the quarantine after we get home. Exactly, you can completely understand why people are not coming away. And I can understand if people go on holiday, why they choose to go elsewhere other than Spain at the moment. You know, not only for the numbers, but for the, you know, the kind of way of life that is here at the moment. I'm not gonna lie, wearing a mask is not fun all the time. When it gets hot, my glasses are steaming up and you just love that when you're kind of walking around, you could take it down, but you know, the rule is you can't do that. Hello from Portsmouth. Hi, Sharon. Afternoon, Lauren, and Alex and Rio. So sad to see it quite quiet. I love going to Slough every year. Aww. Sorry you have to miss out on your Slough trip, Linda. Rio does want to go in the water, but he's not allowed in the sea here. We thought ben um, Spain in general was really, really pet friendly until we started going places like Switzerland <laughs> and France and Italy where he can go on boat trips and we were talking about yes uh, the other day um we went to an island off Cannes and Rio was allowed on the boat and he was free uh, and throughout Switzerland he was allowed on the trains and things like that and he was allowed inside bars and things in in France and then you just think of what he's not allowed to do in Benidorm but we thought oh yeah it's great but when we found out like other places in Europe dogs can use whatever beach they like in winter whereas Rio can't use the beach like at all um, in Benidorm and most of Spain. So it's kind of, um, it's been a bit of an eye opener for us of uh, how much Rio is restricted in Spain compared to other countries in Europe. Even though it's, it is dog friendly, it's kind of also not. Um, and a lot of hotel chains that are in Spain don't allow dogs, but like France and in Italy and Switzerland, they, they do allow them. Uh, Germany and stuff, yeah. <laughs> There's a big salute sign. Vale. Okay, gracias. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> Salou was quiet when my wife and I stayed on holiday at the H10 hotel there two years ago. I mean, I think it was quiet, and then I think it's what it's like now. I mean, I see it on the news regularly, and there's always a lot more people than, than this. This is the only place on your trip I've been to. Cambrils not far from there is lovely. Aww. Lou was my first ever holiday abroad. Ah, oh, hope it brings up some memories then, uh, Sharon. Nice in the day but boring at night. Went a few years ago. <laughs> That'd be perfect for me then. I'm not a nighttime person. <laughs> I love to go out in the mornings and uh, that's about it. Uh, I can't see the comments. Right, there's the salute sign. Just to bring back some last minute salute memories. And we're gonna go off and uh, find somewhere to eat. He's told us the food there's divine and it's a taste explosion and that Rio's allowed so maybe that might be a good spot. He sold it big. He did. Sold it big. How far is Benidorm from Salou? Uh, it's four hours drive, well three hours forty. Um, you can also get the bus and the train and things so it, it is possible. I was here 16 years ago. Oh, wonder what it'd be like in Benidorm. Yeah tomorrow we'll find out. Tomorrow we'll find out about Benadryl when the daily walks come back. You coming to say bye? Yep, like properly. You wave from down there like that's enough. <laughs> Thanks everyone who sent the stars. Um, I will look at them and, and uh, reply and thank you. It's just I can't see them at the moment. Um, where the sun's kind of facing, the uh, star comments go darker. Um, which is supposed to make them stand out but in this sun it's making them invisible to see you now i'm joining back up now so we can say bye if you are on instagram i'm on instagram too if you want to follow me it's spain with lauren um and we'll be back for daily walk around Benidorm. Good rest of your day everyone, and we'll catch you all later. Catch you soon. Bye. Have a lovely day. Bye.